Hey guys, we're here playing another TGC Tours uh, National Treasure Contest course. Uh, for this one, we're going with Glen Ellen, I'm guessing, which is in Illinois, and by Jake Hollick. Uh, I've been warned that there are a lot of templates on this course. Okay. I have a somewhat hyperbolic dislike of templates. Because... Not a lot of templates that are done are done poorly. That's why I don't like them much. But when they're done well, I, I'm fine. Uh, I'm guessing that's Chicago in the background. And that's Lake Michigan. Cool. It does go on YouTube, Axel. All right. Let's get after it. Um, so let's just knock the drive straight in the bunker to kick things off. Flat bunk, just basically a flat bunker with a lip. That's template-y, I bet. I'm guessing these greens aren't quick. No, I was wrong. 174. Okay. Yeah, I see the template for sure. It's fine. Um, I think this is going to be type of course that the architecture nerds or geeks or whatever we want to call them um, are going to just drool all over and your average player is going to go, yeah, it's okay. And that's, and that's fine. Oh, that's a B-Ritz. Right in front of the green. Petro did one of those, didn't he? Uh, and ooh, which course was it? Green's huge. Holy smokes. Oh, I wanted that to go in just because this stupid hole would then just shove it right up its ass. Oh, I flew the B-Ritz. I was supposed to land it just short and run it through the B-Ritz. Hey Nitro, how's it going, buddy? Come on. Ah. I thought your greens would be a little slower because of the templates you were going with. Um, and so then I thought, yeah, you would have big false fronts and have the greens be slow because that's what they were back then. But I can understand why you wouldn't. Second and CC. Okay. Do you remember who got first in CC, Maddie? That's true, Pac Man. And I, for me, if they're done well, I enjoy them. Um, it's where they're obnoxiously geometric, or they're just poorly designed, is where there's a problem. And with, with, with Justin, that's not going to be an issue. We all know Justin's a great designer, so if he's going to go with templates, they're going to make sense. It's more, for me, it's more about what shots are you, where are you, are you leaving the player? I don't really care what the green looks like. The one thing that I would be curious about, um, and this is where National Treasure gets interesting. Does this land scream Illinois? But then what land would? But we've got the Chicago in the background, so okay, that makes sense. And this is where national treasure being states instead of countries makes it a little, there's going to be time, like you could in theory put this course in a bunch of different states, I would have thought. 
So then it becomes a matter of, does that become an issue? And I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I like that bunker there. Oh, you lay it up in the rough, you tool. Light rough, at least. Yeah, that's the thing, right? And that's that's kind of where I'm going with it. Is it's that makes it tough. Uh oh. And there's gonna be, there's gonna be a few states like that where it's. Yeah, I completely agree, Justin. It's not a criticism of you. It's it's the, it's the difficulty of. Um, of having a state that doesn't really have much that you can go, yes, that's definitely Illinois. Ah. I like, I mean, not that I'm hitting the fairways, but I like the width out here um, and the use of the angles. I think that works best with templates. Bunkers are tough. Yeah, I agree with that too. Particularly the Northeast. So I, I think you've probably gone a good route here. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, the northeast is there's a lot of similarities up there. Yeah, I was going to say, New York's got, I mean, you could go Long Island, you could go, um, you know, kind of New York City, Welcome. you can go upstate. Drew Kilf, um, is it worth buying this game? That's a great question, and the reason I'm stalling to give an answer is that there's a thought that in the next couple months, a new version, like 2K23 will be coming out, but we don't know. They haven't said yet. So I guess what I would say is if you can get it on sale, go for it. Would I pay full price for it when it's going to be replaced and poten potentially in place? Sorry, when it's potentially going to be replaced in a couple of months? I don't think I'd pay full price for it. But first on sale, sure. Neat little par three there. It, this is just, I mean, this is very clean, Justin. I don't understand the templates very well. I just, because I'm not a design, like an architecture guy. But the course, the course plays really nicely. So, yeah, I get it for that, for sure. That'd be what, 25 Canadian dollars, probably? I'd say it's worth that. Yeah, okay. I'm, these partial lob wedges are going to have to stop because I can't stop fasting them. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's... It's a minimalistic look that has got tons of interest. which is tough to pull off. Um, and the last, the last course was kind of like that too. 
Yeah, I agree with retired teacher. Um, there will come a point where there aren't any more new courses. That's the only thing. And at that point, if, if we knew for a fact that on July 1st the new game was coming, then I would be like, eh, wait for the new one. But we don't. We don't know if there's one coming, when it's coming. Well, we think we know there's one coming. Yanked it. Rode the ridge. Ah, uh, it's criminal that ball's anywhere near the hole. <laughs> Thanks for the help there, Justin. I needed it. Yeah, this is cool. And designers, I think, will, uh... Will appreciate, really appreciate this because of how they'll understand the templates better than me. But I think it's a, I think the environment looks really nice. I think everything fits well. I think the shot values are really good. I like the touch of having Chicago in the background there. It's one of the few times where skyscrapers have made sense in this game. <laughs> You've used them appropriately. And then having the lake, like having Lake Michigan there too is another good touch. So there's some stuff, like it's, You've done some, well, I, skyscrapers aren't necessarily subtle, but the lake behind it is a bit subtle, and it's cool. Whose house is this? Okay. Fire pit. Little gazebo there. Hmm. Ah. All right. I don't think they should wait that long, Axel, but you might be right. Since they haven't announced it yet, it makes me think it's probably not the typical August. But, who knows, they could announce it on July 29th that it's coming out August 2nd. This is an interesting hole. You want to keep this left if you can. There's only the small issue of there being a bunch of trees there. Kind of, sort of a reverse for that. I'm not sure if it actually qualifies as that, but it has some similarities. Yeah, I like how the city, the the, the um, skyscrapers kind of poke out every now and then. And I like that they're way the hell back there too. Road hole? Yeah, I wonder about that too. Just the opposite direction. Oof. Don't miss this short. Yeah, narrows I don't know. This is a tough putt. I was like, don't miss short, but this isn't a damn picnic either. Oh, awesome. Oh. Because, yeah, I think that fits. Um, having Chicago way the hell over there. Um, it's not so intrusive then. Thirteenth is narrows. Yeah, completely agree. And it's authentic to the area, right? Did you see that all the time where a course will be 20, 30 miles out of the city? 
short par five, which apparently is a narrow, is whatever that is. And I see why it's called a narrow. Is it going to kick right? Is it ever? Oh, now we're in business. Well, then what template was the 12th, Justin? I, I'm dying here needing to know. Yeah, I mean, just everything makes sense. Oh, I can't putt. I suck. I'm playing pin two like I always do, Axel. Why? What's what's why? Why is that a shame? Ah, uh, it's an Eden. Okay. I think this is the right club and ride the ridge. So yeah, it, there's a lot of ground game here, which I really like. Um, a lot of angle work. Again, it's just you have to think your way around it. Give yourself the best chance to score. Pick the elite conditions. Y you know I haven't played in months, right, Wes? Oh, really? Well, I'm I'm a ranger now, too. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, tell me the course. I'll play it after this if you want. That's a lot of water. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, you're talking about this course? This course is going on elite. Awesome. A good course. Maybe I'll come out of my hiatus. Yeah, I haven't played the tour rounds much because I've been skiing in Montana and hiking in Sedona and, you know, spending time with the people I care about. What's this? Oh boy. Yeah, that's that's a bit rough. But I mean, wasn't like when I last played Elite, it was 20 something under to make cuts, so It ain't plat, but it ain't far off. Poor sign, how's it going, buddy? I mean, what I like about this is you can just kind of just smack the ball around and play it and, you know, be competent. But if you want to shoot a good score, you really do need to pay attention to what, to where the, the angles are and the slopes of the greens. And uh, you do have to think your way around it. Oh, I thought the wind was going to take that. <laughs> All right. I, and I like that design. I like it when... It looks like it's pretty straightforward and easy, but then there's subtlety you have to pay attention to to shoot really good scores. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna try and run this around the ridge. And hope it's not too far. If it's short, that's fine. Yeah, something like that. See, that's just fun. Uh, this pin on 187 might be a bit dicey. Although 174 now? Eh. I mean, I've hit a career shot here. <laughs> Look at this putt. Yay. That was fun. That was a fun shot. Okay. What do I gain by carrying these bunkers? Is it just shorter? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So if I want to get there in two, I got to try and carry these bunkers, I guess. Ah, I don't think we're getting there anyway. Oh, maybe we are. The cross bunkers there right about where you'd want to lay up. Okay. I don't think I need driver though. I don't know if I need it, Wes. If I hit three wood and land short, it should run all the way back there. I think. Didn't need driver. I think driver goes through the back. <laughs> I can still three putt from here. As I was saying, I can still three putt from there. That's cool, Justin. I like that. Um, I, the whole template thing is a bit of a meme for me. Let's get that out of the way first. But it comes from people trying to do template holes who don't have the skill to do it yet. Um, and they end up creating holes that just don't really make much sense and all you really notice about it is this geometric mess. That course, if you hadn't told me it was a template course, I probably wouldn't have noticed because I would have just played it. Um, I would have, I, I, and the finish there, um, the, was it 17 and 18, I guess? Yeah, it must have been. Just the way, the, the use of the ground and... Ah, uh, there's a lot of fun shots out there. I know, Maddie, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I just, yeah, I thought that was, I thought overall it's a quality golf course. I think you've done a lot of neat, subtle things to make it Illinois with the skyline for Chicago and Lake Michigan and having it be a suburb. Um, it's very cool. It's very cool. I'm, I'm glad you created that and I'm glad it's going to be on Elite. That's awesome. Uh... For those watching on YouTube, hit like, like and subscribe so that uh, the algorithm can do its thing and more people can see the courses that these guys are creating. We'll be back with another uh, playthrough here soon, but for now I'm going to say cheers.